One time when we had made a move and I was at a place where I was real busy and there was a lot of stuff going on, I called him up and kind of described life and asked, what do I need to be spiritually alive? And then there was a long pause. And then he said, you must ruthlessly eliminate hurry from your life. And that's another phrase I have lived with thousands of times, and I've probably quoted him on it thousands of times. Um, and he would just talk a little bit about what it is that hurry consists of and how destructive hurry is to the heart. You must ruthlessly eliminate hurry from your life. So Dallas, uh, there's a piece of paper on uh, his refrigerator. Uh, about not being in a hurry. And it's beautifully written about living an unhurried life. But as he would point out, and as Jane would point out, that was there for him. It was to remind him uh, to live life like that. And I, and I think uh, the motivation for that came out of um, feeling a lot of times he was too caught up in the work and too caught up in the ministry and not just present enough to his family, but he got that. He got that later in life, but it was a thing was a battle to get that. Um he his body posture would just show you that he was not hurried, but um, he could just he could just get things done quickly without hurrying. And he said that moving fast was not the same as hurrying. I went with Debbie. Debbie's the person I married to, and we went to his home, and he was sitting on the curb outside waiting for us. <laughs> so here's, you know, here's the professor <laughs> sitting on the curb, on the street curb, <laughs> waiting for us to arrive. Uh, and there's a, there's a leisureliness about that. I never felt, um, I never felt that uh, he was trying to, you know, get past me to an, to another task. So there was a sense of an experience of unhurriedness in his presence. Um, 